Well, hello, Leeds United fans. We're back in real life discussing Leeds United, discussing the Norwich game. And I've done it to death, haven't I? But I want to get your views, get, get your final predictions. Final video, really, when it comes to it. I can't do anything more um, when it comes to this first leg and what people are predicting. Obviously, Ellis. We've been on with Ellis Platinum at Away Days. Check that video out. We've done stuff with Talk Norwich City. We've done stuff with my old man. Listen, we get, we've got everybody's predictions. Joe Wayneman, we know his prediction. Jack Reeve, Chris Reeve. I've done it to death. I really have. And hopefully you've enjoyed the content leading up to it. I know you guys enjoy the real life stuff as well. Me just walking around. I've had a few of these comments. What I need you guys to do is help me. I need a massive help when it comes to finding someone in the Basque region in Spain to talk to me about Marcelo Bielsa. Um, yeah, I've got something planned for that. So if you guys wouldn't mind letting me know, maybe in the comment section below, if you've got some Spanish friends, let me know um, in the Bilbao region who would be willing to come and talk to me. I know a fair bit about football. I know it's a bit of a niche demographic, but it'd be really helpful. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing that pretty soon. So get in contact with me. Um, also, we got we had the giveaway. Jay Coyle has won the giveaway. He ordered a white peacock's hoodie, which is very, very nice. We've got more giveaways coming, everybody, but you will not be considered for a giveaway if you're not subscribed to the channel. So make sure you do. So make sure you do as a solid. Bonus content is going to be on the Patreon as well. We're doing an extensive breakdown of Norwich tactically a little bit later on today, if you fancy that. Uh, link in the description below. And um, yeah, so final say, final prediction final musings well it's going to be a tough game i've mentioned before johnny Rowe, josh Sargent, gabby sara kenny mclean nunez borgia signs they've got a lot of decent players norwich and at the start of the season i said they'd be top six so they'll be top six you can check that video out i think i said they'd be fifth um because I looked at their team, I looked at the fact that they picked up Ashley Barnes from Burnley, who'd done really well for them last season. I looked at the fact that, you know, they have this up-and-coming star in Johnny Rowe. There's been a lot of talk about him. Kenny McLean experienced two promotions. Wagner has experienced promotion as well. They've got a lot. They've got a concoction of good things at Norwich, of which you look at it and think, OK, well, they, they should be close. And Chris Reeve quite rightly said, you know, he feels like if Josh Sargent was available for the, 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 the full season, you know, what's he got this season? 16 goals and he's barely been available. <laughs> he reckons they'd be up there with us and it's difficult to, to disagree, really, when you look at it. So, a lot to consider. A lot to consider and it's not going to be easy. They've sort of got a half-decent home record. But what I will say is they've drawn to Swansea at home recently, drawn to Bristol City at home recently. And we're better. We're a better team. We've got better players. We've got better all round the pitch. The manager, obviously, yesterday saying for some bizarre reason that, you know, in effect, what happens off the pitch doesn't impact on the pitch. And what I will say is I was on uh, Not Another Leeds podcast last night. Danny and the lads, um, shout out to all of you. Um, James and, and Kev, um, brilliant pod. Make sure you all go check it out. And we we're having a discussion about this, like the words he was using, maybe... He meant that, you know, I can't do anything from on the sidelines to affect what goes on at the pitch. But the common consensus is this guy just completely deviates from any responsibility for anything. And he's always been the same. Um, I even followed up with a Mudge and Gladback fan last night, an English speaking Mudge and Gladback fan. Um, and he said the same thing with him over there. He said just sort of he will get himself out of the way of responsibility. So saying that before a massive game, you know, speaking on the week of... Ipswich getting promotion about wanting a Sam Morsi and a Massimo Luongo. I just don't think this guy helps himself. He doesn't help himself whatsoever in these press conferences. And it's almost a little bit like pity me, but we can't be going into this fixture pity me, pity us. The mentality's got to be strong and it needs to be top down from Mr. Farker. There needs to be a strong mentality from the club. And he spearheads that with a bunch of youngsters who are going to need bigging up. Listen, if Norwich score, we know what we're going to hear. Leeds, Leeds are falling apart again. That's gonna, that's gonna come pretty quickly after if they score a goal. So, can the players deal with that in a situation which is so, so massive for for both clubs? Can they deal with that? I don't know. I hope so. They've dealt with big moments this season. But what I will say is for people looking at this period of time. And saying, look, we, we lost it. We lost the league. And, and Fark has mentioned it as well. Like, we lost the league at the start. Well, 
form wise performances wise and points wise in this period post international break it's been as bad so you've had two parts of the season where your form has just com been completely off you've had a brilliant middle part where listen if that form continued Leeds would have been championship title record holders with about 109 points I think it I think it was the projected points total with our form it hasn't been like that but can this team get back to it can this team get back to it? or are they going to let this form just dictate are we going to see special performances I want to see backs against the wall Leeds United I want to see as the fans will be fighting um not 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 obviously literally but they'll be fighting as they always are Leeds fans are brilliant at home in a way we need the players to shake off this tag you know Frank Lampard the, the, the horrible man that he is said years ago he was asked about Derby County he was asked about Derby County's recent failures in the playoffs and he said well it's just a myth and then to be fair to them they went to Elland Road and they beat Leeds didn't they uh, on a real deficit so listen they didn't win the playoff final but this whole playoff thing this playoff structure of Leeds losing five times on the bounce it is a thing but also these new players shouldn't be thinking about that. They should, they'll probably read it on social media, but they shouldn't be thinking about that. The pressure's going to be massive. The strain on their mental is going to be massive, but they're good enough. They are good enough to do this and they need our full support. And I know, as I've said multiple times, you guys won't think that with me, you know, when it comes to um, our constructive criticism, this, that, and the other, but I'm doing this and I always try to offer a solution. You know, <laughs> Cooper's had a mare, get him out, preserve him, get somebody else in. You know, if Sam Byram's not been good enough, that is what it is. Sam Byram's not been good enough. Get him out the side, get somebody else in who can bomb up that flank, who's good with both feet, who's got a nice little balance and who can offensively hurt the opposition side. Um, unfortunately, uh, we don't have many players like that, but Furpo is the better option there. We always try on this channel, offer different options, different solutions, but we do have to get behind them. We have to get behind them. We have to support them, but the players need to give us a lot more. They've got to step away from these pathetic performances that I've seen Leeds concede six goals in two games now everybody I've got predictions with my head and predictions with my heart my head is telling me right now Norwich at home at their home I should say Carrow Road they've picked up relative form but you know they've drawn Bristol City they've drawn Swansea at home very very recently it's not like a, a ridiculous run of form that we had at home it's making me think that, you know, even in that first game when we were second best for 50 minutes, when they went 2-0 up, I think if that happens in this game, I don't think we've got the mentality to bring it back. Um, so my head is telling me 2-0. It is. I just can't get that away. But my heart, as I mentioned on our stream last night, and I mentioned on mine, um, is saying 1-1. One, one. But once again, the manager has options to change it. I don't think he trusts... A lot of his substitutes which is a little bit of a problem and I think what we're going to see going forward tomorrow is Melier in net. I think we're going to see Archie at right back. I think we're going to see a back two of Rodon and Ampadu and I think we're going to see Firpo at left. I think centrally we're going to see Elia Grove and Glenn Kamara. I think the three in behind the striker are going to be Willian Yonso, Rutter and Somerville and then I think we're going to see Joel Perot up front. Can they do it? Hopefully. We'll be here with all your instant match reaction tomorrow, everybody. We'll also have the watch on tomorrow, the instant match reaction. I'm going to be on there with my old man. We're going to have bits throughout the whole weekend where hopefully Leeds can do it. Hopefully Leeds can bring a good lead back to Allen Road or at least keep it respectable. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comment section below, everybody. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in a bit.